In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to individually texture the cap and fillet portion of any of Cinema 4D's spline-based objects using hidden selection sets. These allow you to continue to keep the object parametric so that you can adjust the extrusion or the cap options, but texture each portion individually. So we're going to go ahead and start this from scratch. And the first thing you want to do is apply your base material. And just for illustration purposes, I'm going to use this gold material here. And so now we have a gold applied onto this entire object. Now, if I want to apply a different color to the cap portion, what I'm going to need to do is apply a second material. And in that texture tag, in the selection field, you need to type the name of the hidden selection set. For the front cap, the name is C1. C is for cap, and then 1 is for the front cap, and then 2 would be for the back cap. So C1, C2 are the front and the back cap. So now you can see that we've got the cap portion shaded in that blue material. If we roll around here to the back of the object, you can see that the back is still gold. But if I apply another material to the extrude and name the selection set C2, now I'm going to get a blue cap on the back as well. All right, back up here to the front, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a white material. And I want this on just the fillet portion or the rounding. And for the purposes of this, I want you to think of it as rounding because the selection set is R for rounding 1. So R1 would be the front. And then if we want to apply one on the back, we just do the same thing. Apply another material, R2. And there we go. Now, because that gold isn't working so well, I'm just going to go ahead and swap it out with uh, this dark gray. And I think we're all set. Now, do keep in mind that this technique works for any of the spline-based objects, the lathe, the sweep, the extrude, or the loft as well as the MoText object in MoGraph. And if you're using CB ArtSmart, you can apply these to the CB ArtSmart object as well. The way that you know if there's a hidden selection set is simply make the object editable. When you do that, you'll see here in the hierarchy these selection sets. And you can see their names, C1, R1, C2, and R2. And that's how you know that this object will receive these hidden selection sets. Now, of course, you're going to want to undo that so that you can continue to keep this object parametric. You can edit or animate its movement or its fillet options. 